What's up, my writing weirdos? Hey, I am BC. This is BC Brown Books, where we get weird about words in the ways that only writers can. And today, I am bored as fuck. So, I was wanting to uh, go ahead and host a pop-up live stream today because um, Dana Gollin of Dana Gollin Writes, who normally hosts this time, is taking the day off because yesterday she took place in a 10K writing day. And I don't blame her for needing to take today off and to just chill out a little bit. I'd need to chillax if I had done an entire 10K writing day as well. So today I am home obviously and wanting to get some work done on one of my two work in progresses that I have going on. And so I thought I would pop up and invite all of my wonderful, lovely friends to join me, all of my lovely writing weirdos to join me in doing my stream today. So I might do my stream one of two ways and it'll be entirely up to y'all in the comments about how I do the stream. Um, the two ways that I could do my stream today, the first way would be that I would do it like normal where I would pop a timer up onto the screen for a designated amount of time and um, we would just write like normal that way. The second way I was thinking about doing it, I did this the other night and um, a lot of people were really excited to see my process as I was working through my second draft on my um, dark fantasy series. And that way what we would do is I would actually pop my draft up onto the screen. We would still set a designated amount of sprinting time like 15 or 20 minutes or 25 minutes, something like that. And I would pop my draft up onto the screen so that you could see my actual draft as I was writing it. And um, some people were excited about doing that. Some people were not. So um, I just want to see which way the everybody in the chat would like to do today. If you would like to see me as I draft my work, um, obviously you can use the productivity sprint to do your own thing as well. You would just be able to look up and see me occasionally making weird faces and um, adding to my document, or we could just do it the, the plain old, old fashioned way that we've done hundreds of times that works for all of us, which is where I pop a timer up on the stream. And also let me know if we do want to do it that way. Do you want the timers with music or without music? Because some people really enjoyed the music and other people really found the music very distracting and kind of irritating. So let me know in that case, which one we would like to do. Um, we got a few people here in the chat to begin with. Ms. Eva was first for us today in the chat, and I am hoping that the little one's nap time also syncs up as well. Um, hey, Jeannie, good to see you um, working on your urban fantasy today. That is cool. Spence, glad that you're here. I see that you'll be doing some more rereading today. Alleycat107, good to see you, my fellow weirdo. Sarah Keefe is here, hoping to get some editing done today. Joanne Ninja Hen is in the house. Hula hula. Good to see you, Joanne. So for those of you that do not know, Joanne is an amazing animated cover artist. She will take your existing covers and animate them and make them look amazing. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to win um, uh, an opportunity to have her design or animate one of my covers for me, design one of my animated covers for me. Um, and so I'm going to have her do that on the one of the anniv eh, can't talk one of the anniversary editions of um, my uh, metaphysical chronicle series that the anniversary editions of those books are getting ready to come out this summer. And so I am super excited to have her do that. All right, what now is here? Hey, Sean, good to see you. Jeannie saying that yes, she did the 10K day yesterday. She did half of it and she was absolutely spent. So I can only imagine how Dana and Tamara and Cache and everybody that did the sprint, the 10K day yesterday, how everybody is feeling. Uh, they've just gotta be totally wiped out. Books with Kittens, good to see you. So um, I absolutely love your your screen name. It is very, very apt 
for me right now because we have two new kittens. Um, you can see behind me that my kitty cat, my older cat is sleeping, um, probably hiding from the kittens because they are playful AF. Ooh, do, 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 do. Uh, let me see here. Books with Kittens is going to use today's stream to figure out how Scrivener works. Always good. Scrivener does have a little bit of a learning curve, so that's something that um, you definitely have to take a little bit of time looking into. Okay, Ali Cat, cool. So you were in the, I was in the comments for the 10K day yesterday too. Um, I wasn't really working on writing yesterday. I was working on um, videos and my upcoming videos for the next couple of weeks and getting all the components together that I needed. Um, just so everybody is aware, my partner is home from work today. So you will occasionally be seeing him wandering around in the background, more than likely with a yo-yo in his hand because that has been his latest uh, new obsession is uh, picking up yo-yoing. He used to do it as a kid, from what I understand, and he is really into it again. So if you can hear some stuff going on in the background, it's probably because he's watching yo-yo videos, which sounds so fun to say. It's yo-yo video, yo-yo video. Okay. I've had a lot of caffeine today. Can anybody tell? Hey, Sherry, good to see you. I'm doing pretty good today. I am up, up, up today. Up, up, up today. Hey, Sid, good to see you. I think this is the first time I've had you on my channel, so really good to see you, and welcome, my fellow writing weirdo. Hopefully, you're able to get a lot out of my channel today. Um, Joanne would prefer that I do timers without music, as she's very sensitive to background music. I can understand that. Sherry is working on my on their dark on their horror. I can't talk today. On their horror dark fantasy novel. And you're on the last two chapters. That is really exciting. So for those of you that didn't know, I actually typed the end on my dark fantasy uh, novel work in progress the other day. And that was the best feeling in the world. Um, I love getting through, and it was the end on the first draft, so don't think I'm anywhere near ready to like be published with that or anything like that, but um, it's like the best feeling in the world, just typing the end and knowing that you're at the very end of a story, um, or at least at the, dra of the end of a draft of a story, and so... I like I got up, I did a happy dance. I happened to be on another streamer's stream at that time, on another author tuber's stream at that time. I was on Dick Moonstruck's um, stream that morning because I couldn't sleep, so I was up and ended up typing the end. So he like he and I celebrated a little bit. I, neither one of us had any kind of cake or anything to celebrate with. I had a cookie though, so I ended up having a cookie and dancing around all maniacally with my kittens and um, my dog thought I was crazy, you know. Da, 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 da. Let me see here. Yes, that is true. Joanne is actually doing both of my covers. She's going to animate both of my covers for the anniversary editions of my books. Um, she and I had uh, contracted out to do one of the covers, and then I turned around and won the other cover on Lisa Daly's stream. Um, so I was super excited about doing both the covers. So yes, she doesn't do, she doesn't work in half measures, folks. It's all in or nothing. You get all of the professionalness or nothing. That is if you contract for it, of course. Uh, Sarah says, I'm okay with whatever today. I prefer a little background noise with a timer, but I know that it bothers other people. I can listen to my own music or ambiance. So Spence says they are living in their feelings today, but it's much better than drowning in them as I have been. So yeah, um, I think that's an important thing about the way you're feeling is that you just own them in the moment that you're experiencing them rather than let them like snow you under. Um, you just gotta gotta feel them and write them out. It's kind of like it's kind of like the, the the sea turtles in the Finding Nemo movies of just riding the wave and just going with it and just going with the tide and the flow. Hey, 
Hey, good to see you, Dick. I was just mentioning how the other day I had uh, finished my draft in uh, your uh, your stream. Yes, I did. I was wondering at first because I was like, huh, what's going on? And then I figured you would update on social. So I, I did see it on social. Yes, super rush, super rush. I, I'm one of those writers that um, I celebrate every milestone that I have. So like if I finish a particularly difficult scene or I finish a particularly diff difficult chapter, then um, I will get up and I will do a happy dance, um, which usually is really dorky looking and do a little happy dance. I might take a couple seconds to myself and uh, you know, I may even post it on social media and maybe like, Hey, I finished something. And people are like, who cares? You know, but I think it's particularly worth celebrating. So. All right. So Sid is a big fan of the timers. So it sounds like we will do timers today and um, at like special request, we will do timers without music today. That way people can add their own ambient music or their own background music as as needed. Some people really liked them. Some people found them distra uh, distracting. So let's see, let me bring up some, I've got a whole list of timers on, I've got a whole playlist of timers on my channel. So if anybody's ever looking for timers, um, they can go and find them there. They include timers from other author tubers like Dal Cecil Runo and Camille Merrick um, and uh, Dahlia De Winters. So you can always go and look at them there. I still need to add Tamara's to my list though. I haven't quite added hers yet. Um, Tamara Woods and I need to go and add her timers. Let me see here. Oops, this is not what I wore. I want to be. So I just want to pull up my first timer and get it ready. Um, not quite ready to like stream or to, like do a sprint real quick right now. Um, but we will bring up something. And what are you guys feeling like? Are you feeling like a 15 minute to start off with? Or do you just want to jump right in and do a 20 minute? Or do we want to just go all in and do like a 30 minute sprint? So I can tell you right now, I can't do more than a 30 minute sprint. 30 minute sprint is about all I can do to just focus for that amount of time because I have ADD. Um, but if you're wanting to do a 30 minute sprint, we could totally do that and I am fine with it. Keep bumping into my desk today. So if the camera is all wiggly weird, it's because I have way too much caffeine in my system. And all right, StreamYard is of course being incredibly slow um, today. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a call on it and I'm going to say that we do a 20 minute sprint for the first sprint. Okay. So I've got one that says 15 or 20 and one that says 20 or 25. Um, so let's do the 20 minute sprint for our first sprint and let me get it queued up and ready to go. Hey, Carrie, good to see you. All right. So for the first sprint, I'm going to bring up uh, one of Camille Merrick's timers. Let me get this shared. And we will do 20 minutes. All right, so we'll get this shared. And now that I got that up on the screen, so we will do 20 minutes to go for our first sprint. And that will be starting in three, two, one, sprint!
Okay. That is our first 20 minute sprint. Timer compliments of Camille Merrick's channel. Hey, Audra, good to see you. Glad you joined us during our sprint. Um, so that was the first 20 minute sprint um, to get done on the channel today. So everybody let me know how you did in the comments. Actually, let me know even what you're working on. Um, I decided to go ahead and work on the second draft to my dark fantasy novel and um, get a little bit more done on it before I switch back to my um, paranormal mystery series and working on the third book for that. So let me see what I ended up getting done. I ended up... Oh, this program is being so slow today. So since I am working on, from scratch, I am working on the second draft of my novel, um, things are a little bit slower because I'm having to go back and actually, even though I'm transcribing what was on the first draft, I am taking it and typing it by hand again into the second draft, which means I'm having to slow down drastically to make sure that everything is spelled properly and that there aren't any typos or aren't that many typos, you know, reasonably so. Um, so I ended up doing 237 words this last time, which, yeah, I'm not unhappy with that in the least. I'll take 237 more words. I've had so much caffeine today. Okay. I got that out of my system for right now. You know, it, it'll be, uh, it'll come up again a couple times, a couple hundred times probably during the stream because again, I have so much energy. Oh. Let me see. All right. So is everybody still still working on your... Oh, okay. There we go. Streamer is just being extremely slow and giving me my comments. YouTube is being slow, though, too. So Audra is applying to a job, but the next sprint I'll be working... They'll be working on their fantasy work in progress. That is cool. That is cool. Carrie is finishing a blog post one-handed with your one-year-old in your lap. See that? That I understand. So I um, actually did uh, the other night I was working with a cat in one hand, a kitten, because every time I'd put him down, that stupid, he's not stupid, he's adorable, I love him to death, but every time I put him down, he'd be like crawling all over my keyboard and like doing everything all over my keyboard and everything. And so um, the, uh... yeah, anyway. So I had to let my, my roommate and my partner know that I was streaming today. Now he's now he's just having fun in the background. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Anyway, so yeah, I had a kitten in one hand because every time I put him down, he'd crawl all over my keyboard and he'd crawl he'd want to be like his face would be right up here in the in the camera trying to get like all up in my stream. And it'd be crazy. But the instant I would pick him up, he'd just fall asleep in my hand but I couldn't put him down and let him fall asleep because he wouldn't do that. So I understand having to do things one handed sometimes. Spence read a chapter and a half of the reread for the first draft of their contemporary Gothic question mark genre to be determined modernist bibliomancy. Cool. Sherry just finished sending feedback to someone that they're beta reading for, waiting for the other part of the story. That's cool. We love our beta readers. Love our beta readers. Love our beta readers. Yo, everybody give mad love to your beta readers all the time. They are so worth their weight in gold, and they are so valuable to you as, as a writer. You, If you've not worked with betas before and you don't know how valuable they are, just treat them like the royalty that they are, because they are. Sarah posted their cover reveal on Instagram, yay! 
and we'll be getting back to their edits now. Much less exciting, but still quite necessary. Yeah, see, and you got to do that edits thing in order to actually have that uh, publication thing. So, yeah, it's not as, as as exciting, but it is still pretty cool. And now I want to go. I want to go and look. I want to look. I want to look. I want to look. Let me see if I can bring it up. See, if you say something to me, I'm going to bring it up if I can bring it up. And believe me, I'm going to bring it up. So Instagram. I'm pretty sure I'm following you. Pretty sure that I'm following you. Let me see here. I got to see the cover. Sarah, it's just Sarah Keefe, right? Or is it author Sarah Keefe? Or I can't remember everybody's. Not author Sarah Keefe. Sarah Keefe, Sarah Keefe books. Sheesh, you'd think I'd remember that one. Oh, this is so cool. Let me share it. All right. I'm going to make it the full size of the screen. So everybody, this is Sarah's cover reveal releasing September 2nd. Widow's Weeds. What a cool title. That is a really cool title. So now we all know September 2nd. All right, let me see here. Uh, Sid is editing their YA fantasy book. They call it Project Purple for now and just finishing editing chapter eight. So you have like a working title that you work with. I mean, I have a working title too, but it usually ends up becoming the actual title of the book. <laughs> it's slow to... Um, Joanne Ninja Hen is finishing animation for one of, oh, cool, for Elizabeth Span Craig. Dick is listening to some recordings. Jeannie started beta reading too. Uh, let me see here. Alley Cat got 33 words, been very distracted. I understand completely. So I was super distracted, easily distracted, deliberately distracted <laughs> earlier today. I was, um, I, I had tuned into Dick Moonstruck's stream and was just like letting myself procrastinate and be distracted on it. So some nice accolades for the cover. Some more accolades for the cover. So Sherry, her Instagram is Sarah Keith Books, as a matter of fact. Uh, here we go. At Sarah Keith Books. So it's Sarah's first book. So excited, nervous, thrilled. Yeah, it's a really odd combination of emotions for sure. So that doesn't go away, Sarah. It happens for every single book that you put out. At least it has for me. I'm seven titles deep at this point, And it still happened whether I put out a full-length novel or a short story anthology. Um, Either way, you put you, every title that comes out, you end up being just super excited about it, and nervous at the same time, and dismayed um, because you found something that you should have done differently, but it's too late to do it now because you've already gone through all your editing and you've got your cover art and you're ready to go. And um, so. That's that's pretty much it. Um, and you, get, you just get you just get excited all the time. So Sid says that they do have a working title, but don't want to get attached to it because then I get into the fantasy of publishing rather than editing. 
I, I get it. I get it. Allie is writing their short story called Balloons. Since I'm stuck with editing my novel, it's a middle grade. It's a middle grade and the characters are in middle school. Cool. <laughs> Carrie's got to take care of, of got to be in, in mom mode for a moment. Cool. We'll see you when you come back. Don't worry, Carrie. So what we'll do then. Oh, here we go. That's really cool of you, Sherry. Get a little more promo going, a little more exposure to Sherry's feed and all of her followers. All right, Sherry, I'm totally reaching out to you when I have my anniversary covers for my Metaphysical Chronicles then. And be like, here, here's my covers. Have fun. Show people. I love to promote. I love to promote people, though, too. Uh, let me see here. All right. I think that should take us right into our next. Um, should take us right into our next writing sprint. We're just chugging right along today because like I said, I've had lots of coffee, well not coffee, I've had lots of chai tea latte and um, and we got people following Sarah on Insta. I love it, I love it. We all should be following each other. Go ahead Sherry and post what your um, Instagram as well and everybody go ahead and post what your insta is just let's do an insta follow let's let's follow each other on Instagram so we'll do that and then we can all do that during our sprint time if we want and get each other all ready to go I of course am up here in the upper corner I'm at BC Brown books at pretty much all the socials you can find me all the time anywhere everywhere so let's do another sprint. Let me get back to, let's do a different 20 minute timer this time. I like Camille's timer because it's really simple and basic um, and it's just very clean looking, but uh, let's, let's promote another author tuber and the awesome timers that they have done. Um, Speaking of which, since she's here, we will go ahead and use Joanne Ninja Hen's 20 minute timer. Let me just bring it up real quick. I don't know why everything is being so, my internet is just being so slow today. My internet, YouTube, I don't know if it's my internet, I don't know if it's YouTube. I don't know if it's just the fact that I got like 50 million tabs open, that's probably it. All right, so here's some Insta love we can be giving people, Audra's Instagram and Twitter. Um, Alley Cat 107 is at Halo 2 Girl. Hey, Yaza, good to see you. So, I asked everybody to toss their Insta handles, Insta, Twitter, whatever handles into the comments so we can follow each other and give each other a little boost. And Spence is Uncanny Artistry and a basic absurdity. Sherry's Insta is Sherry Turquoise, same picture as that one. That is good branding, good cross branding right there. Yaza is catching up on some studies today. What kind of studies, Yaza? And I'm guessing Joanne is giving me some love because I'm going to use her timer. All right, let's get this timer started, y'all. Let's get this timer started, y'all. Okay. Uh, hold on here, real quick. I'm going to add this to the stream. There we go. 
All right, so we will get started. Three, two, one, sprint!
Okay. That is our second sprint finished up. Let me stop my sprint thing. All right. Hopefully, yeah, yeah I'm sure it'll stop. Okay. Tell me how y'all did in the comments. So I didn't get very far. I had to reread um, the scene before and the scene after because I am at a part where I had just had made myself a note for a scene and I had skipped over that scene entirely. So I had to reread the before and the after. And then on top of that, I had to go and I realized that I just did a lot of placeholder my lords, my ladies, your grace type of titles. Um, and I had pretty much used the same, sorry. And I had pretty much used the same titles over and over again um, throughout the book, which that is completely wrong because there are noble titles and ranks that actually have specific um, titles that are used with them. And so, um, I decided that I was at a section that was using a lot of those titles in there so that, um, that I had to go through and I, I wanted to start making sure that some of them were accurate and I was using them in the correct places or possibly not using them in the correct places. By the way, everybody say hi to Spot because he's got to come up here and get a little affection. I'm sure you heard him squeaking a few minutes ago asking for love but i wouldn't bend down and get him so he decided to just come up here and get the affection that he was seeking didn't you didn't you yeah so anyway so uh so i went and i looked up the different nobles titles and the ranks, um, both the European titles and ranks and the, um, the French titles and ranks because there are, there are some small differences between them. Um, and I want to use a combination of both together in order to, um, in order to uh, build my fantasy world. So let's see what everybody is doing. So Yaza was saying that the coursework that they are working on during our sprints today is a certificate in retail, um, but the Yaza deleted Insta a while back and doesn't use it anymore because it just wasn't good for the soul. See, I've I've um, I've not heard that about Insta. I've heard that about Twitter and I've heard that about Facebook, but not so much about Insta. Um, but it's whatever is for whomever, and check it out, everybody. Yep, he's decided he wants to be right up in the stream, right up in the camera. Because you've got to see what's going on, and my computer is, like, moving and doing things. Eventually, I think they will start to learn when I move them away from... I'm hoping, eventually, they start to learn that when I move them away from the computer and the laptop and the keyboard, that that's not where they're supposed to be. I'm hoping just with slow, methodical, always moving them around. Uh, sorry, I gotta answer this text real quick. Um, let me see. Uh, All right, so uh, StreamYard, why are you doing me wrong? Why are you doing me wrong? So Jeannie is finishing up a beta read on chapter one, which is so exciting. I love beta reading for people, love beta reading. When I have the time to do it, which just sucks that I don't have as much time for it as I would like to have for it, but. All right, hey, good, Carrie, that was perfect then, but our our stream and our sprint time was just perfect for um, getting you, uh, giving you enough time to take care of the kiddo. Gonna try and get something done before it's time to make dinner. Any actual writing will probably be done after bedtime. It happens. We've got to schedule ourselves kind of strangely sometimes in order to schedule around life. 
I schedule around life constantly. Like my, my partner just texted me during that sprint and said that, um, I was most definitely going to have to get a hold of my sister like ASAP because we used part of my inheritance um, for the house. Um, on, for those of you that don't know, we're in the middle of uh, buying a house. We're getting ready to close on it. And we used part of the a little a very small portion of my inheritance for the down payment for the house. And our finance guy told us that we may have to have um, we may have to have proof of my inheritance, but he didn't have us go ahead and get it because it was such a small amount that he wasn't sure that we would need proof of it. So, um, but he texted me just now and said, you're going to have to get a hold of your sister like ASAP and we're going to have to get that in order to be able to close on the house. Um, okay. So Sherry followed everyone that she could find on Insta, started reading another book for another author and beta reading is a lot of fun. Exactly. Beta reader is like one of my favorite things to do. Will you get off of my notebook? I'm just going to put my notebook away and then that way he doesn't feel like he needs to chew on the paper. I'm pretty sure that the kittens are teething and that's why they're chewing on everything suddenly. It's not just scratching their nails. It's not just like sharpening their nails on things. They're actually chewing on everything. Sarah is working on a sequence of scenes in the second book. Yay, in the second book that have been giving them trouble for almost two weeks now, figure out, figuring out exactly how they need to fit together. Yeah, that's where I'm at is I am working on specific scenes in my second draft that I skipped in my first draft because I don't write in chronological order. So I'm working on those scenes, trying to figure out how to stitch everything together from scene to scene and make it all work and still make that scene engaging, um, if that makes sense. Because I know how that scene needs to start and I know how that scene needs to end but I still need to make sure that the scene has enough of a hook and isn't too much of just a filler piece um, in order to get people from point A to point C. Everybody's saying hi to Spot. Uh, I'll just skip over those. Um, Dick was saying that their cat got on their lap and hand, so have to do things, yeah. Yep. Well, you just gotta do things single-handedly. Carrie says that Spot is precious. They had an orange tabby when they were in high school. This is my first orange tabby that I've ever actually had. Um, and I've always wanted one because I've always wanted to name him Spot after Data's cat from Star Trek The Next Generation. So I finally got my way. Sherry says that they don't write very well in the afternoon. They do a lot of reading and researching in the afternoon. Spot's a boy. So Spot is a boy. Spence was doing more reading. Audra applied to a job and managed to get 116 words in. So also, awesome. Alley Cat is also back, got distracted again. Oh, so maybe they're just chewers. I don't know. My other cat, not a chewer. The one that you see that is um, hanging out back here, not a chewer. Um, not really much of a scratcher even. I mean, he does, but mostly he uses his scratching as an excuse to stretch. So he scratches for like three seconds of a stretch, and, and that's about it. Um, but these are, I've also noticed with these kittens that they're climbers, and he's not a climber. Uh, he used to be, uh, he wasn't so much of a climber as he was a jumper. Like he would leap for things and knock things off. And then he just, he doesn't do that really anymore either. So, all right. I say we do another sprint. How does everybody feel about doing another sprint? Um, let's go back and pick a different timer. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's see, we've done Camille. We've done Joanne Ninja Hen's timer. Let's go back and do one of Doll's timers. So another 20 minutes. 
I'm thinking 20 minutes has been good for me so far. It'll give me a chance to text my sister and give her a heads up that I need to call her. Um, and hopefully she'll be at home and be able to get me the proof of all my stuff. Do, 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 do. Which I know, I, I, I gave her a heads up already at one point that I may need proof of my inheritance and proof where that money came from just so I could prove it's not like drug money or something. Um, so I gave her that heads up a long time ago anyway. Oh, maybe one of these days this will load. All right, let's get this timer up. That's cool, completely understand, Audra. You gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta do the work things. But for now, we will do another sprint. So we will get started in three, two, one, sprint!
separate account somewhere, not just cashy drug money. A lot of this process has been us proving that uh, our money is not drug money. I think it was March. I want to say it was like middle of March.
All right, that is the end of that 20 minute sprint. So I want to apologize for not realizing that I wasn't muted for part of the beginning of that phone call and conversation. Totally thought I hit the mute button, but apparently I wasn't on the right. Uh, either I wasn't right on it or I hadn't yet clicked over between my screens or something along that lines. So, um, but basically just a little bit of a whoops moment. Uh, nothing too big though, because it was just me calling my sister and asking her for, you know, she's the one that was the executor of our, of my late bio dad's estate. And so she's the one that sent out all of our inheritance monies and everything. So, all right, let me know how everybody did in the comments. Um, I know I saw some, I know I saw somebody specifically pop up in the comments during the sprint. Hi, QWERTY, hello. I can't do the Mrs. Doubtfire voice, but I know I, I could hear it in my head just as soon as you put it on there. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a little confused, you know, just me talking along with whatever music you guys had going on, whatever, whatever you guys had going on during the sprint. Uh, let's see here. Mostly me just apologizing to people in the chat. Um, Allie apparently got a potential story idea out of me forgetting to press the mute button. So, hey, we are all about that here. It definitely is not a very interesting conversation. That was for sure. It was ma mainly just a, what do you need? And I'll get it to you. It's not a big deal. Uh, let's see here. Yazo is saying that that particular story idea reminds them of a book called Two Wolves by Tristan Banks. It's not the same premise, but in a weird, really familiar way. Allie got 59 words done. Hey, Key, good to see you. How's it going today? Jeannie had to go make chocolate milk. Facing a problem. Hmm. <laughs> Gordy said, hi, saw you streaming this morning, I think, or was that yesterday? Anyway, I just missed your face. It might have been yesterday. Um, it might have been this morning. No, I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday. I'm glad you missed my face. Here's my face. Here you go. Here you go. Vogue. Strike a pose. Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Spence did less reading, more explaining familiar, uh, familiar baggage BS to a friend. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Sarah, a little more editing there with a child interruption, but made progress. Progress is important. A uh, little conversation going on between folks. Sherry got a new post for Instagram and Twitter done. And a problem in the urban fantasy manuscript for Jeannie. 186, no students in their Zoom yet, but also some research. So yeah, I mostly went back down the research hole on um, nobility titles and ranking and what I should call people. Cause so, I was a big fan, or I am a big fan of the Song of Ice and Fire books. I was not so much a big fan of the show. It was it was okay. It was acceptable. It was whatever. Um, but I was a pretty big fan of the books themselves, minus a few things that really ticked me off. Um, but in general, I was a big fan. But what made me so, so mad and turned me off about the show mostly was the use of my lord and my lady for everybody 
like no matter what their rank was, no matter what their no noble heritage was, they called everybody my lord and my lady. And it drove me insane because that is a title that is in that is classically was reserved strictly for barons and baronesses. And that's like one of the lowest ranks that you can get on the totem pole of nobility. And just, oh, just, just insanity and just, ooh. so that's my little rant about that particular title. And it just drove me nuts. So I wanted to go through and I wanted to make sure that the ranks that I have, because I did use my lord and my lady as like placeholder crap for um, for my books. And so, but that was just placeholder stuff for my first draft. That was not what I was using um, to like write everything. And so, um, it won't be what's in the final draft of the book. And so now that I'm in the second draft, I want to start getting my actual lineages. I mean, I have all that stuff in my um, my Bibli, as Cordy calls it. I have all that stuff in my Bibli and have everything set so I know who's related to whom and who has royal blood versus who's just strictly, I mean, technically everybody with nobility unless you're like appointed unless you're like appointed estates or something like that. But technically everybody with noble blood has, or nobility has some type of royal blood in them, depending on how far descended you are down the line. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I had all of that in place before I, like before I actually like do that. Um, and so since I'm in the second draft of the book, I want to make sure that I have them in place so that I have good working knowledge of what the ranks ranks are and what the titles are. Okay, I think we should do another sprint, um, mainly because I need to call my sister again real quick. <laughs> so um, I will we'll do another sprint real quick, and then we will get into the comments. Um, thank you very much, Cordy. It is it is lovely, so lovely. But um, we'll do another sprint now, and I will give, because i got to make this important phone call. And I promise I will be on mute this time, and you guys won't have to listen to the first part of my boring phone call. Um, let's, do, let's do another 20 minutes just in case. Um, let's pick... Um, Let's pick Ms. Dahlia's timer this time around, because we've picked pretty much one from every author tuber that I know so far, um, with the exception of Tamara Woods, because we haven't gotten to that many sprints yet. Um, so we'll do Ms. Dahlia's this time around. And let me get this started. I may, I may think about doing that, Spence. Uh, thank you for the video idea. I, I may absolutely do that. It'll be something that I'll have to come up a little later down the road because I have, I have several um, choices of, or I have several ideas for videos coming up already for June, but might be something that I could work in there along with like when I talk about fantasy stuff that I like and dislike. Oh, I'll, I may, I'll couple that with my, what I like and dislike with my tropes. Okay. All right. So we are going to sprint in three, two, one. Sprint.
Okay, that is the end of that 20 minute sprint. Everybody let me know how you did in the chat. So as anybody saw, I was able to call my sister and get that taken care of. And so hopefully that is enough going on for the, uh, for the finance guy so we can get all this stuff squared away finally. Cause I swear every time we ask if we need something, they tell us we don't need it. And then they turn around and then all of a sudden they need it like ASAP. So uh, let me see here. There were a whole bunch of comments because I went like pretty much straight from one sprint into another sprint um, just so I could accommodate all of my personal phone calls I had to make. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's see where I was at. Um, Alley Cat saying that if somebody was going to write the particular uh, whole thing about needing to prove where your money came from, then I should probably write it. But. And never know. It's it may be good information for you to have for characters that decide to buy a house at some point that you have to prove where money comes from um, and make sure that there's nothing crazy going on with your bank accounts. All right. So Key has officially opened a document. That is good. You are on the right track to productivity. Sometimes, hell, that's all I get done is opening a document. Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Sherry doesn't have a title for their book yet. They have a series title. Would it be a bad idea to do a voting to see what other people think of titles, what titles readers like? I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea. I, um, I've occasionally taken polls about what, like I've had working titles of um, in mind as far as my books. And like I've taken a poll on Instagram to see if people liked what my working title was going to be. So that's a very good idea. Usually my working title ends up becoming my title. So um, Spence did have to take off and go do some mob stuff for the day. So that is uh, perfectly okay. I understand that 100% having to take off and do mom stuff occasionally. Um, let's see, where am I at? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Where? Okay. Oh, man. StreamYard is really being awful. Hey, Adam. Glad you made it. Welcome to the stream. My stream is a little funny today because I've been taking personal phone calls. I've been leaving myself unmuted during those personal phone calls. I got peoples in the house, which I don't normally have. There's yo-yoing going on. There's all sorts of there's there's kick-ass, badass spaghetti going on in the background. Just all sorts of stuff going on. So Jeannie is trying to convince themselves to get back into their manuscript, playing a video game at the moment. It's okay to take breaks. It's okay to take breaks. I take breaks all the time. Ms. Quote just set up a stream for later and finished eating lunch. Going to put up a, some new posters and decor for a bit. It's always good to decorate your space. Make your space yours. Make it zen. It goes right along with your yoga video. Which you guys, if you haven't checked out Cordy's new Tranquil Yoga for Writers, you totally should. It's a kick-ass video. It's what every writer needs. So Key read and reviewed another section. Uh, Sarah said, not much done that time around. Lots of distractions going on around here. Might be time for a brief computer break. Totally understand brief computer breaks. Um, as you can see, I have tons of distractions going on in my background, and sometimes I'm in the middle of a stream, can't even pay attention because they are all going on in the background and everything. So Sherry got the demon realm or hell made on Pinterest, so you got a board for it. That's pretty cool. I've got a board usually for my books um, on Pinterest as well. It's something that I just started doing. Um, was actually pinning whole boards. I, I mean, I've always pinned my books and I've always pinned some some of the, the stuff that I have been working on, but are like working with as my visuals. And I always have like my murder wall as my partner calls it that has all my visuals on it. 
but a lot of times those are from magazines or um, they're stuff that I've sketched out very roughly and they're not stuff that I've pulled necessarily off of Pinterest so they're not stuff that I've been able to pin but I've been doing more of it lately doing more of it lately Audra says 233 words this time no students next class is at one o'clock your time one o'clock your time which might be close to my time because it's almost one o'clock my time oh it's almost one o'clock my time wow um Jeannie had spaghetti last night so did my roommate he had spaghetti last night too which is why he's having spaghetti again today we had what the hell did we have last night oh yeah we had salisbury steak and mashed potatoes last night that was our last night i don't know i gotta figure out what we're eating today hey it's been a while it's been a while into my stream food has not come up yet <laughs> it just came up all right alley cat got 168 words thank you i love my lipstick too Mwah. And I do. I got. I got it going on. I'm on fire. I'm always on fire. Mm, 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 mm. Actually, I got kind of a red face today. I'm really warm for some reason today, so my face is like all like completely flushed today. But I don't really care. It's it's usually pretty flushed anyway because I've got really I've got uh, pinkish undertones to my skin. Alley cat. I uh, was wondering, Jeannie, what game you are playing right now? Cordy, yes, I really enjoyed it. At first, I wasn't sure I was gonna like, I wasn't sure it was gonna be my jam because I was like, why do I want a yoga video, like tranquil yoga video? Because that's not, I just don't watch yoga videos. And then I thought, wait a minute, hold up a second. Cordy is doing a tranquil yoga video for writers. This is gonna be interesting. And so I, I clicked into it purely based on knowing you, just knowing you girl and knowing how goofy you can be. So, uh, Jeannie responding to Alley Cat, Stardew Valley, keep dying in Skull Cavern, but realize my battle is only up to level seven, not 10. Okay, I know nothing about video games, so I can't even begin to comment. Oh, Audrey, okay, so yeah, so I'm on the same time as you right now. Yeah, because that's because uh, I'm in Arizona and our asses don't change. We make everybody around us change. <laughs> All right, more video game chat. All right, so let's see. It is officially over the two hour mark. Um, I could keep going if y'all want to do some more sprints or I could, or we could end the stream if you want to. Um, I'm totally cool with doing some more sprints because obviously I just took up the last two sprints doing personal phone calls instead of actually getting writing done. And I need to get more work done on this whole noble houses, rankings and titles, um, which I am I am uh, at Spence's at Spence's uh, suggestion. Probably going to end up doing a video about this, so it means I have to do even more research on it than what I would normally do because I have to be prepped for writing a video on it. Um, so I may do that. I don't know. I really need to get a writing done, though. Ooh, decisions, 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 decisions. Uh, we're probably going to end up doing the outline, <laughs> to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. So Alley Cat says that it is up to me, but they are up for one more. And Autumn is saying at least one more, please. Pretty, please. Pretty, please. Okay. I say we could at least do one more. Um, let me... I'm going to bring up Ms. Tamara's timers. And I'm going to use one of Tamara's timers. If I can get my computer to speed up. And that way we could do another timer using one of Tamara's timers because I've been using other author tubers timers today. And I say we do, how about we just make this a three hour 
stream today. I think that would be good. We could just make it a three hour stream today and oops. Come on. Do what I want you to do. Work. So we'll make it a three hour stream today. That gives us a chance to do another 20 minute sprint and still gives us about 15 minutes there-ish to do my outro and us more importantly for us to chat. So let me go pull up one of Tamara's timers. She's got cool, like, Hawaii-themed, because she's in Hawaii, if y'all didn't know where she's at. Um, she's got cool, like, Hawaii-themed timers with palm trees and ocean surf and seagulls, and it's all fun. If I could bring up one of her timers. This may be why I haven't gone and put her on my timer playlist yet, because I've not been able to go grab her timers quickly at any point but she's got way more videos that are like really cool or maybe her timers are on her channel i think they are though i'm pretty sure <laughs> No, not a three-hour sprint, Yaza. Not a three-hour sprint. Just, uh, just, just a stream. Just a stream. Cool, Sherry. Thanks for coming. I'm glad that you had a good time. I, I, I'm enjoying the hell out of my stream today. I like my pop-ups. They, uh, they could be a lot of fun. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> How about we go for a beach timer? What'd you call me? I called you a beach. If my computer will not be so slow, it being so slow. All right, you guys can watch me do all my stuff so you see that I am waiting on just Slow computer, so slow. Here we go. And okay, so one thing I should say and preface really quick is that Tamara's timers count upward rather than counting down. So it will be counting from zero to 20. All right, so we will get started in three, two, one, sprint, hopefully, maybe, maybe not. Oh, what is up with my, yes, exactly, Joanne, son of a beach. Son of a beach. It's being so slow, so slow. I don't want an ad. I want to skip an ad. Okay, y'all, I have no idea what's going on with my internet at the moment. I get like a second screen being somewhat slow. I don't want an ad. I don't even know what this is. This is like the wrong thing entirely. Uh, let me let me figure this out because I have no idea what that was. I think maybe I accidentally clicked on an ad. Now y'all see that I'm not all there. I'm not all put together. I'm not the shiny professional author that everybody says I am not like this well put together professional all the time especially when it comes to tech I have lots of tech issues a lot a lot a lot I 
Eventually, we're going to be able to sprint, though. So, back on my soapbox about fantasy, nobility, ranking, and titles. Because <laughs> that is my soapbox of the day. If you all have any questions whatsoever about fantasy, nobility, ranking, and titles, please, please, please ask me. If you are writing fantasy and you've got questions about it, please ask me about it. Because it's very important stuff to, to get even close to being right. Now, like if you're making up your own whole nobility title thing, then that's fine. If you're like working it from scratch, um, then you should totally do that and just make up your whole thing. All new titles or whatever. But if you're using like king and queen and prince and princess and and duke and marquis and viscount and count and baron and knights, then just do some Google research. Because they, they have very specific orders that they come in. And even if you're just using what you think is the European, like fantasy nobility ranking system, then even double check it because there is the UK version, there is the French, so, so there's the English version and there's the French version and the French version I think also is like the Russian version as well, so. Yeah, I did. I pulled it up. Um, that's how I pulled it up. It's just that it kept going to a different video for some reason after I would click on her video to get it started. So, but I got it now. I got it now. All right, Carrie, I am glad that you had fun. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, I may see you on Sam's stream later. Not sure. I have trouble getting to her stream because that's like during my social time with my partner. So, um, you go have and you have a good dinner. Okay. All right. Now let's try this again, guys. So we are going to start this in three, two, one, sprint.
All right, the seagull indicates the end of that 20 minute sprint. So that brings us about on our final sprint of the day. So now it's just me getting chatty for a few minutes. Uh, how did y'all do? Um, let me know in the comments. I went down the rabbit hole of research now on the whole titles of nobility thing. And um, I'm probably gonna be doing a video about that coming up soonish sometime in the near future. So probably look for that and probably look for me breaking out some cosplay during it because if I have a chance to dress up like a uh, nobility, then I'm gonna dress up like nobility. So Key was saying that they are not using European nobility titles in their story. If any similarity in terms are found, it's solely due to translation, which translation can be tricky um, in our work. So we can write it exactly how we mean it to be written, um, but when it comes to translating it into other languages, sometimes those terms simply aren't there, or like there's a totally different um, way things are are ranked or stacked like i know for instance um for instance the difference between european nobility ranking and italian nobility ranking is very very different um so and that's you know the same with the french nobility ranking um italian french doesn't matter they're all a little different than the standard european nobility ranking Joanne Ninja Hen said that her readers found a funny typo and said Asian costumers instead of Asian customers. <laughs> I think we've all done that typo at some point or another. If it makes them happy and laugh, then it's good, though that's kind of funny. Hopefully they didn't mind too much. Cordy has finished putting up their decor and is now pulling books for their Pride book stream tonight. Awesome. Well, the first day of June and the first day of Pride Month is a good day to be doing a Pride book stream. What time is your uh, stream tonight, Cordy? Jeannie is thinking over the plot and may have to par down subplot. I've had to do that before. Sometimes you have to rein yourself in on your subplots just a little bit. Um, I have to do that a lot, actually, rein myself in on my subplots. Sarah is editing stuff, moving words around. They think they're going to need to completely rewrite one scene. I can feel you. I've done that before. I've actually, so in my third book in my Paranormal Mystery series, I have now rewritten and reorganized and re-outlined that book, I think, at least three times, possibly five times. I want to say I've done it five times, um, but I know I've done it at least three times. Maybe I've only done it four. Let's just call it, let's say four and call it, call it splitsy. So Allie got 117 words done and still working on their short story. Audra got 189 words and started their last Zoom class, No Students. Key says that they are working with an alien culture. The MC was given the language through magic, but the term translates in her head as Lord. Okay, that makes sense. Cordy says that her stream tonight, her pride related, her pride book, pride related book stream, ah, I'm gonna get that out, is gonna be at 7 p.m. Mountain, so 6 Pacific tonight. In Key's book, you have lords who equal shifters, whose dragons have two colors, royalty, shifters whose dragons have three colors, and imperials, four colors. Each includes more abilities. That's cool. Joanne says that to the blood issue with nobility, most European nobility has had a way for commoners to get noble. The Queen of Great Britain still does it in former times the war for war efforts, now artists too. Yes, there you can be granted, I mean, there are non-hereditary titles and non-hereditary positions that can be granted. Um, then there are, 
you know, then there are peerages that are just, that are simply lifetime titles. A lot of those are like your knights and things like that that are granted, but you can be granted and become a peerage and still hold um, a barony or something like that. It's really, really complicated matter, which is why it made me so mad when the Game of Thrones TV show came out and they, they simply called everybody Lord and Lady, no matter if they were royalty or they were um, nobility or they were a peerage of the realm or they were a knight. It really bothered me. Um, it was just one of my one of my things that really ticked me off about the show. I, I don't remember it being in the books. I remember them actually, I seem to remember it actually being legit in the books and using the proper titles, but I might I might be wrong. It was a long time ago that I read them. Audra says that they love researching noble ranking. Their whip is just royalty and nobles are all lords and ladies. Going to come up with a different name. Inner hierarchy is determined by court positions. And Cordy should definitely maybe do some writing at some point today though. Uh, I don't know. I did some writing, but then I like fell down the research rabbit hole. And so I don't know, some writing, maybe sometime at some point, you know, like type the word the and you wrote something at some point today. <laughs> nah, probably should do a little bit more than that. But, you know, that's that would be a way to consider it. Like I wrote I wrote the word the today. I got my word count goal in. Yay. <laughs> Not quite so much. So I've got clearly a lot more on my little notes chart that I've been making for my nobility rankings and titles. I don't know. I don't even know if I really should do a video on it because it's not like I am like well versed in it. I'm one, I'm, I don't come from a society that has nobility titles and rankings. So all I know is just based off of my own research. Um, and having read a lot of historical fiction and a lot of fantasy fiction that does it well. <laughs> Cordy says, done. She's written the, she's written a single word today and it's all good. Technically you've written more than a single word because you've been chatting. You've been chatting. So these all, these all count. These are words. These are words too. They're just as important. <laughs> Open doc, one word, close doc, done. Eyes is a writer. Audra says that their last rabbit research rabbit hole was traveling long distance on foot and by horse. Oh yeah. So I am going to come up against that later on in the dark fantasy novel that I am working on because um, I know my movements through my countryside are not realistic at this point. And since there's not a way for it to be aided by magic, um, for their movement, I'm going to have to make it more realistic. So it probably means that I'm going to have to end up writing a, a lot more scenes to explain the time lapses um, between places. And that's going to suck. It's going to suck so royally. It's going to suck wax fruit. I'm not going to like it. Not going to like it at all. But... With ending on the note of something that I'm going to have to write in the future that's going to suck and I don't want to think about it, I'm going to say that we are going to go ahead and wrap up my stream for today. I want to thank everybody for coming in and hanging out with me, especially since all I did was just kind of randomly pop up in Dana's spot today since she is not streaming. And um, yeah, so if you don't know who I am and you're on my channel, why, why are you here? What? Other than that, hey, cool. I'm glad that you joined us. So my name is BC and this is BC Brown Books where we get weird about words in pretty much the only way that writers can and that's by writing them. Um, every Monday and Wednesday I post videos on better writing, better marketing, and bu better publishing for books. And every Friday I host, uh, I host live writing sprints from 3.30 till 5.30 p.m. That is Eastern Time. Um, and every so often, yeah, I do pop-ups like this. So if you've not gotten weird with my subscription and my notification buttons down below, you definitely should, especially that notification button so that you know when I do these random pop-ups. And there's also a whole bunch of links down below, um, including Cordy's channel, because you're going to need that for her stream later tonight. 
but there are a whole bunch of links down below about everybody on AuthorTube that does these type, well, not everybody on AuthorTube that does these type of sprints, but everybody that I know of that does these type of sprints and does them on a regular basis like I do. Um, so you can go and check them out. While you're down there, check out my newsletter, my Patreon, my merch channel, um, or I guess my merch store, rather. Um, go and get yourself some weird swag that that screams, I'm OBC, and hey, maybe become a Patreon and get some behind the scenes stuff too. So um, I wanna thank everybody for you know coming out and hanging with me and keeping me company today. I really appreciate it. And thank you um, again for you know just being my writing weirdos. I will talk with you all in the future. See ya.